Alright, this is part two of uh, my rant on Nickelodeon. And where I last slept off, I was talking about the two upcoming shows of Tough Puppy and Planet Sheen. And I said I was not watching them because it's not going to be funny. And because and because of, of Sheen having his own show. And I don't think it's going to be funny, so I'd rather not watch that. I'd rather watch uh, Jimmy Neutron much more better than Planet Sheen. But let me talk about more stuff. Uh, what's happened to Nickelodeon over the years? Well, let's talk about iCarly first. Let's talk about iCarly first a little bit. But that one's pretty good. That's all right. But yeah, the couple episodes. If you if you really if you've seen a couple of episodes of iCarly, like from either the end, almost the end of uh, almost somewhere in season three. There's a couple episodes that don't, the ending don't really make too much sense. It's kind of too short to end them. Because I don't think they should be end like that. I think they should just be end with um, a better ending. But, yep, yeah, they're making, they're going to start making new episodes. But, like I said in, in the last part, I think that will be the last season that they'll do. Because Jerry Trainer is getting too old to play Spencer. And, and Miranda Cosgrove is getting old to play... Uh, Carly and yada 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 and as for this kid Gibby I don't know his real name but yeah he's getting he's getting too old to play uh, his his uh, his his uh, character Gibby I think he's getting too old to play that because he he's not as wacky as he used to be so I rather I rather not focus on him but let me explain something about, about this a little bit since season four started, they added him as a character. What the heck happened? Why would they add Gibby as a as a main character? I mean, come on. He he only appeared in a couple episodes. Why would you why would you ex consider him as a main character? Although, well, yeah, he's seen he was only seen that one episode. Um, he was only seen the whole episode, which was that new. The newest episode of I've Got a Hot Room, and he was seen in a couple parts. He was played in two parts. He was in. He, he was seen in two parts of the new, of the newest episode when uh, I meet Sam's mom, or I Sam's mom, or whatever it is. But yeah, that yeah. But Gibby was only seen uh, in a couple parts of it. But yeah. But why would they add him as a main character? I mean. That, that's not fair. That's not fair because it started out with Spencer, Freddy, Carly, and Sam. It, it started out with that. But why would you add a new main character to it? It doesn't make sense. But you know what? I I don't really think if uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll I'll still have to watch the new episodes by Carly when they make them because it might be it might be all right. It might be good, but I don't know. But but since, well, when I Carly started, when it first started, that one was alright. It was pretty good. I like the, I, I definitely like the first season. I, I, I definitely enjoy it a lot. And for season two, I prefer watching that one too. That was a great, that was a great season though. And of course, make it starting off with I Saw Him First. That was a good episode to start off a season. And, um... And also for season three, they start off with an episode I think they kissed that was pretty good, but but the ending I didn't think it was it didn't make too much sense. I don't think they made much sense at all. But they I, I they did a right job. They did a pretty good job. But you know I I think they should have just um and of course on the previews if you saw the previews last year of I think they kiss. If if you saw the last if you saw last year of those uh, previews of I think they kissed, and you seen uh, you seen like a scene in there when uh, when where Carly gets mad that she finds out that that Carl uh, that Sam uh, that Sam uh, told Carly that um her and Freddie kissed, and there yep there was the scene, and 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 uh, Freddie says are you jealous? And she says, I'm not jealous. And, yeah, that scene wasn't shown in that episode, but, 
Yeah, they might they might have shown that episode. They might have shown that scene in a if you seen if you if you seen a couple new new upcom new DVDs by Carly that they made. And they might have done that. Yeah, they they might have shown it there, but that must be the uncut version of that one. I don't know why they cut it out, but at the end, I didn't think the ending was eh, it wasn't too good. I didn't like the two end. Too much of the two. I didn't. I didn't mind the ending that much because I. I didn't think it, it should have ended like that. I thought it was, should have been ended a little bit better than that. But yeah, that was. Uh, I didn't really mind that too much. I didn't think that made too much sense at all. So I wouldn't prefer watching that one too much. But that was probably my least favorite. But at least I like the part where uh, uh, Sam tells Carly that. She kissed Freddy, so that that's still good. That's still good. But throughout the rest of the seasons, well, let's just say they're starting to get older. And, yeah, it's not going to be... I don't think this season won't be as funny as it used to be because, yeah, because they're getting older. Carly, uh, Miranda Cosgrove's getting older. Spencer's getting older. Freddy's getting older. Sam, blah, blah, blah. They're all getting older, so it's not going to be like it used to be when it first started. But yeah, I miss those days. I miss those old Nickelodeon shows if if you used to watch them as a kid. But yeah, yeah, Nickelodeon, please. What happened to you? I miss the old Nickelodeon shows. Why would you get rid of all those shows? And now, let's talk about Keenan and Kel a little bit more. Now, that's, that would be it with iCarly, so now let's talk about Keenan and Kel next. Alright, well, about Keenan and Kel, of course it was first, first aired in 1996, two years, two years after all that was, uh, all that was made, because all that ma was made in 1994, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about Keenan and Kel right now. Now, yeah, I used to enjoy Keenan and Kel, I used to watch it as a kid, and... It was good. I, I loved the Keenan and the Kel. It was a classic, hilarious. But they, but they did re-aired all the re repeats of the episodes on, which which was on Teenick back in 2007. Well, it was first well it was first named the N, before it was named Teenick. But yeah, that was first aired in either late September or early October of 2007. I remember seeing that, but I didn't have the I didn't have the channel then, so so we had to get the channel. But yep, that that was aired for almost a year, almost a year that Keenan and Kel was on, almost a year on the end. It was almost on there for a year. But yeah, that was pretty good. I I enjoyed watching Keenan and Kel. It was funny. It was fun. It was very enjoyable. And also, if you remember, if you have a television set and and you get the channel T Nick, well, if you remember, if you have that, if you have Comcast or whatever kind of cable you have, and it had the channel T Nick, well, they they did reshow Keenan and Kel yet again, but that was last year in July of 2009. But unfortunately, that was late July of 2009, and they stopped airing it. On August 1st, 2009. What the heck happened? I, I was pretty upset that they did that. That was, that was just ridiculous. I don't think they should have done that. Because it was... Because it wasn't going to be good. Because, yeah... Yeah, getting rid of a uh, classic television show, Keenan and Kel. I don't know why they would do such a thing. Because... Because Keenan and Kel... It was my all-time favorite show ever. And yeah, it was funny. It was my all-time favorite show. But I was I was pretty upset that they got rid of Keenan and Kel on the end. You know, they should have they shouldn't have done that because 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 the end. I would just like to tell Nickelodeon and the end, or no, now known as Teenek, they need to get a life, and put back the old shows like we used to watch back in the day. Keenan and Kel, all that, The Amanda Show, Drake, well, Drake and Josh is still on, and Rocco's Modern Life, Cat Dog, Ren and Stimpy, well, they still play Cat Dog sometimes, and 
Ren Stimpy, but you know what I mean. They should air those shows all, and I mean all the time. Not just once a year, all the time. But you know, Nickelodeon, Teenick, if you don't, I mean, if you don't like the show, don't watch it. Just air it for once. For goodness sake, you're, you're really ruining me. But you're you're re you're really ruining me, aren't you? You enjoy doing that to me because yeah, it's a waste of time. You can waste my time, but what? But rather, if you, if Nickelodeon Studios is watching this right now, if you don't air Keenan and Kel, I don't know what I would do. I I would be depressed for a whole I mean a whole year if you don't air them again. Because the old shows, they're much better than those uh, those stupid new shows like Victorious and those two upcoming ones, Tough Puppy and Planet Sheen. You know, that's a lot better. The old shows are a lot better than those new those, those new TV shows. Well, keep iCarly and Spongebob on. Keep those on. But when it comes to Victorious, Tough Puppy, Planet Sheen, take them off. Cause they're not, you're not gonna make a lot of money making, you're not gonna make a lot of money by, by making those kids watch that show. Because it's not gonna be funny. And who even thinks it's gonna be funny? But not me, I'm not gonna watch the show. I'm not watching the new Nickelodeon shows, the new upcoming ones. I'm not watching them. You need to air Keenan McHill, all that, The Amanda Show, and all those other great shows Back in, um, back in the day that they had on Nickelodeon, you need to put them back immediately. Because you're going to make a lot of money if these kids just see, just see for once that those shows are better than the other ones. But, but I'm not going to go on to, I'm not going to go any further. This will probably be the, this will probably it, be it with my rant on Nickelodeon, but I'll see you all in my next video soon, which I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little demonstration on my 1975 GE Wildcat, so I hope you stay around for that, so th that next video will be for Home of the Good Guys, so, so I hope you stay for that.